Hi guys, and welcome to Undercover Scam Beta. This romance scammer Maria contacted me via Facebook Messenger. She's a makeup artist from Texas with a sad backstory. Her parents are dead, and she's hungry and broke. I tried to help her, but this ungrateful scammer rages and then blocks me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that you enjoy wasting this scammer's time as much as I did. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Where are you from? USA. How about you? I'm from Texas. Where in the USA? Escondido, California. I currently live in Pyramid Lake with my friends. What do you do for work? I'm a makeup artist, but I'm still working under my friend here, after both my parents pass out, about a few years ago. That's the reason why I relocate with my friends here after my parents pass out. I'm the only daughter and after both my parents pass out, no one to support me and stand by me. I'm struggle my life alone and it is really hard for me because I have no one in my life again. What did you do for a living? Sorry to hear that your parents have been passing out so often. How are they now? Not good, huh? I hope they recover soon. Read what I wrote. Oh, you meant they passed away and not passed out. Okay, I understand. Yeah. What are you doing for a living? I'm retired. Which work? I used to work for a web design company. I was responsible for inserting periods at the end of sentences. I was head of punctuation. Oh good. So how did you survive? Mostly by drinking water droplets from leaves and eating bear feces. A lay. What does a lay mean? It's a damn mistake. A lay is a word scammers use to determine if the person they are trying to scam is another scammer. They do this so they aren't wasting each other's time. I usually act dumb and ask what it means or ignore that they said it. How did you survive after retired? Other than Five Finger Discounts and Broadway, I used to work at a bus depot as head of ignition. I was responsible for starting the buses in the morning. That job paid well so I have a lot of money saved. Wow, that's cool. How is your wife doing and kid? Hope you have happily family. I would call it fire, but whatevs. I'm single, never married. My wife is decomposing in her grave. My kids have moved out as they are 28 and 30. Damn! Sorry to hear that. How old are you? Yeah, I'm rich and lonely. 64. I'm 28 years old. Picture of you? You want me to send you a picture of an old and ugly man? Age doesn't matter. Age is just a number that we are counting down. I thought age ascended. But I'll take your word for it. I'll send you a photo, but I promise you won't laugh at me because I'm so ugly. Yes, dear. You're very handsome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. What would you like to talk about? What are you looking for here? A relationship. You? For serious relationship and fun, understand, man. Good to hear. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, dear? Good. How are you? What are you doing? Just watching YouTube videos about the latest trends in teacups. What are you doing? Nothing, my love. My food stuff I finished and I'm really broke now and I need to buy some food stuff. Are you gonna support me with any amount, babe? What's your address? How much you gonna send me? What's your address? Why asking for my address? We are in a relationship so I should know where you live. I live in Pyramid Lake. I know that. Where in Pyramid Lake? Rancho Mirage, California. House number and street. Why you ask for all that? Since we are in a relationship, I should know your address. I told you I need some money for my food stuff bill, but I told you about it's my friend's house. My address is One Hope Lane, Escondido. Yes, my love, that's good. One day I'm going to relocate with you. I really love you so much. I love you too, but I don't trust you. I'll be happy if you really stand by me forever. Why you don't trust me and you said you love me? Of course you'd say that. A love without trust isn't real love. Yes, that's very true. You won't even tell me your address. But I've told you my address already and I explained to you that it's my friend house. It doesn't matter who owns the house. I need some money to rent apartment for myself. I don't trust you. 5. Pyramid Lake Court Rancho Mirage why you don't trust me? 
I said that because you wouldn't tell me your whole address. Are you home now, babe? I've told you already, yes I am. Okay, great. How can I help you? I just need some money to buy my food stuff, baby. Your friend will be up to help you. She didn't because broke too. Does your friend own the house you're living in? Yes. She must be rich owning a house worth over $1 million. No, she rent, not owner. Your friend must be rich to rent a home worth over $1 million. She have her man support her. Okay. But I'm always ashamed of myself because I have no one to support me and be my backbone. Who has been supporting you the past few months? I've nobody, dear. I'm really broke, and you're the one who can support me now. Oh, that's really sad. Are you going to support me, dear? How? I told you that I need money for food stuff. Okay. Are you going to send me some money? How? I guess you don't really love me. Okay, I will help you. Thanks, my love. Are you going to send me the money now? Are you still home, babe? Yes, dear. My friend Reverend Eric Camden will be there in two minutes with a box full of food. There will be enough for you and your friends for the next two weeks. Okay. He just said he is knocking on your door and nobody is answering. He left the box of food at your door, babe. Enjoy. Why are you lying to me? You're playing games with me, right? Don't you dare speak to me like that. You said you were hungry, so I arranged my friend to drop food off to your house. You're playing games. I told you that I don't have much money to buy my food stuff. Also told you that I'm broke and you're now playing me like a kid. I sent food to your house. The reverend left it near your front door. I don't understand why you're so angry. I also told you to send me some money and you're now telling me that you sent someone to me. Did you know the kind of food stuff I want? You're lying. You said you needed money for food. I sent you food. How can you be upset that I sent you food? You sent food. What kind of food stuff did you send? Can you tell me? Is that how you're treating your woman? And you said you care about me. You mean like when a woman says that they need food and I send them food? I'm the one that know the kind of food stuff I want. You are one ungrateful bitch. Hold your food. I don't need it. And you, bitch. Of course I care for you. Out of my DM, I don't think I can be with someone like you. Can you tell me the kind of food stuff you sent? Open the box I sent and tell me which foods you don't like. Okay. Can you send the man back and tell him to snap a picture in front of my door and send it to me? Open your front door. The box is there. There's nothing like a box here. If you don't really love me, just let me know because I can see that you doesn't care about me. Okay, I'll arrange another box. What type of foods do you like? No! Hold your food. I thought you were hungry. Yeah, but I don't think you can help out. Sending food to a hungry person is helping out. No, if you really want to support me, send some money. You said you were hungry. I sent you food so you wouldn't be hungry. I'm going to think about what I want to be brought. What types of food do you like? I told you in the first place that I want to buy food stuff, if you can read well. I'm not telling you to send me food stuff. Did you really love me? What types of food do you like? Is that what I'm asking you? No, it's what I'm asking you. Bitch. I'm done with you. I'll find someone who appreciates my gifts. Out of my DM. I find someone that really loves me and really cares about me, ready to take care of me. Taking care of somebody is buying them food when they are hungry. A bitch is someone like you who gets angry at generosity. I was going to send you some money, but if you treat me like then you don't deserve anything. You're the one trying to treat me like a slave. How am I treating you like a slave? I told you that I just need your support and you're allowing a third party to know what is going on. Can you tell me the reason why you sent someone to my house? I don't want to tell my friend how I get the food stuff because I want to surprise her. He is a reverend from the local church who is also my friend. He will not tell anybody about your situation. I just want to take her along to the market and buy things we need. You don't understand me. You said you were hungry, so I sent you food. You are acting like a spoiled brat. My friend always takes me along to the market and brought many things we're going to need, and I want to do so. 
I've sent you $300. I hope that will make you happy. I don't understand. You've not sent me any money. Yes, I did. I sent it yesterday. You're crazy. Stop playing. I sent you cash via FedEx. You should get it tomorrow. You're stupid like I said. How would you send money via FedEx when you can easily send through bank or buy gift card? I don't have time for your game. Off. I don't understand, babe. You want money, so I sent you money. Don't stress. It will arrive tomorrow. To hell with you. If you aren't home when they attempt delivery, they will place it in a secure locker. You'll then be able to pick it up at a convenient time. I love you, babe. Ogan kill you there. I can't wait for you to get the cash so you can go to the markets and buy the food you like. Bitch. I'm gonna block you right away. I don't understand, babe. Why are you so upset? You. I don't want you to be hungry, so I sent you extra money. Bye, son of bitch. So it ends here. Maria blocked me. I tried to be a good partner and take care of her needs, but in the end this wasn't enough. She needed somebody who could send her gift cards or transfer money into her bank account, but all I could do was send her food and cash. Thank you for watching Undercover Scam Beta. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos.